This little lad of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little lad of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah, it shine, yeah, it shine, yeah, it shine. This is Sister Jordan. And this is Sister Aaliyah. And the following are your announcements for the month of April. Take communion with us this Sunday at 9 a.m on the Mount Heber Facebook page. How to prepare before service. Get some juice, bread, or crackers. Be ready at home with your elements and follow along as if you were in the service. Let us know you joined in. Take a picture shared on social media using the hashtag Mount Heber. Share your testimony. Send a two minute video testifying of God working in your life to info at mounthebron.org. Virtual Bible Study Series My Mood Swings Wednesday nights in April at 6 p.m. on Facebook or dial in. The Historic Mount Hebron Baptist Church Double Good Popcorn Virtual Fundraiser 100% contactless April 23rd, 2021 to April 27th, 2021. Raising funds to help our Hebron continue to be a blessing to others. Thank you for your support. The historic Mount Hebron Baptist Church Virtual Spring Revival, Tuesday, May 4th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. This event will be held live on Facebook. Mount Hebron Baptist Church, Inc. Our guest preacher, Reverend Stephen Thomas Jr., Pastor Zion Baptist Church of Christ, and our pastor, Reverend Dr. Beryl Whipple. Happy Mother's Day. As we prepare to celebrate Mother's Day, May 9th, 2021, we are asked that you submit a picture with your mother or of your mother with a typed message to include in a church video presentation. Email should be sent to info at mounthebron.org by April 28th. These have been your announcements for the month of April. Thank you for listening and God bless. Praise the Lord, everybody. I am Trustee Patty Owens, chairperson of the trustee ministry at Mount Hebron Baptist Church under the leadership of the Reverend Dr. Burl M. Whipple. I am pleased to give the prayer for the week. Let us pray. Our Father and our strong God, I come to you with lifted hands and a heart full of praise and love, thanking you for your grace and your mercy. Thanking you for your forgiveness. Thanking you for your protection. Thanking you for your many blessings. The greatest blessing being your gift of Jesus. And it is in his name that I come to you with another weekly prayer. I know that you've heard all of the weekly prayers that have come before this one. I know because I've seen the evidence. I know that you care. So this week... I ask that you continue to bless this branch of Zion called Mount Hebron. Continue to make a way for us. 
Continue to bless our pastor and his family. Pastor Whipple is committed to keeping us connected via technology during this pandemic. Continue to speak to him, lead and guide him in his endeavors. Continue to bless this world, these United States, our state of Maryland, our city of Baltimore. Give all the leaders of these areas the ability to make wise, compassionate decisions for all races, for all economic levels, and for all cultures. Open doors of peace, love, kindness, joy, financial relief, mental stability, good health. Close all doors of stress, anxiety, worry, fear, frustration, negativity. We know, Father, that no matter what it looks like, feels like, sounds like, you are still in charge. And this week, as you bless and walk with us, we will be careful to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Praying, as my pastor says, that you will be pleased with what we do, how we do it, and how we treat each other. In the matchless name of Jesus, amen. Beloved, walk with God this week and be safe. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Anybody glad to be in this house this morning? Come on, even if you're in your house, you can still press into his house, into his presence. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. He's brought us through another week. He's brought us through a mighty long way, danger seen and unseen, and we give you glory, oh God. Hallelujah. We sing your praises. Sing the praises to the king, for he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to the king, for he's the king of kings. And we sing the praises to the king, for he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to the king, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory. King of kings, give him glory, for he's the king of kings. They will sing the praises to the king, for he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to the king, for he's the king of kings. We sing the praises to the king, for he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to the king, for he's the king of kings. Come on, give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Come on and give him glory, for he's the king of kings. Give him glory, for he's the king of kings. We go like this. Oh, hail King Jesus.
Hör dir das an. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on, bless the Lord with me. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, come on, dance before the Lord. Come on and dance before. And welcome, welcome to online worship here at the historic Mount Hebron Baptist Church. And we thank God, we thank God for you joining us here on today. Listen, you may be joining us uh, from our YouTube page or uh, seeing the replay on our website, mounthebron.org, or even Facebook Live. No matter how you're joining us, we are so thankful that you are joining us on this beautiful Lord's Day. Do me a favor, do me a favor, type in those comments, I'm at worship at Mount Hebron. I'm at worship at Mount Hebron. We're so glad to have you with us on today. We thank God. We thank God that we open up worship today with uh, the announcements from our Watkins sisters, thanking God for some youth representation. Uh, and we also thank God, we thank God for how our service opened up with a word of prayer by Trustee Patty Owens, chair of our trustee ministry. Thank you, Trustee Patty Owens, for leading the way with this wonderful prayer. Now, people of God, as we do every week, uh, we uh, uh, practice some electronic evangelism. We practice some electronic evangelism. Love, comment, and share. Love, comment, and share. Let the world know. Let the world know that you're here at uh, worship at Mount Hebron. And so we just thank God for God keeping us one more day, one more week. So do me a favor. If that's your testimony, if that's your testimony, just type in the comments, God has kept me. God has kept me. God has kept me. We thank God. We thank God for your presence here on the day. We also thank God for our online worship team. Uh, please continue to support and encourage our online worship team. As you all know, we've been at this uh, online worship during this pandemic a year and some change. And we thank God for our online worship team. We also thank God for your continued support. We thank you for your continued support, uh, giving of your tithe and offering. Now, of course, if you need an envelope, please email our trustees at trustee ministry at mounthebron.org, and they will get envelopes out to you. Uh, but you know you can give in three ways, y'all. You can give right there on the screen via Givelify. Find us on Givelify, the historic Mount Hebron Baptist Church. 
Find us on Cash App. Our cash tag is dollar sign, M-O-U-N-T, H-E-B-R-O-N, number two, number six, number five, number one. Or you can mail them to the church, uh, uh, noting attention to the trustees. We thank God. We thank God for the many ways that we have to bless this branch of Zion called Mount Hebron. Now, as I say this every week, please don't wait until Sunday to support this ministry. You can sow into Mount Hebron on a Friday. You can sow into Mount Hebron on a Thursday. You can sow into Mount Hebron any day of the week. Listen, as God blesses you, you should bless God's house. As God blesses you, you should bless God's house. Here are your detailed instructions on giving people of God. During this pandemic, this season of COVID, we are focusing on our giving. We are focusing, of course, on our tithe, which is 10% of our earnings before taxes. We're focusing on our tithe. Uh, we're focusing on our 52-week offering, our HVAC, and our building fund. Now, for our 52-week offering, this is week number 17, which means $17 or $62 for the month of April continue to support our HVAC project. We have an update for you. To date, we have raised, watch this, $11,462.93. Amen? Amen. Continue, continue to concentrate on your tithe uh, for this year so we can uh, meet our church expenses. I know you're asking, Pastor, why are you are only giving to the HVAC and the building fund? Why? Because we want to have a building to come back to. And during this season, we have worked on a lot of things in this church. You all know we have worked on the floors. We worked on the roof. Uh, we worked on the carpet. We were, we were able to do some things uh, during the pandemic that we were not able to do before. And we thank God for your diligence and your patience. We thank God for your diligence and your patience. Now, as we are in the month of April, uh, we want to now receive our April announcements from our Watkins sisters. We want to receive those announcements at this time. This is a lot of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is a lot of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah, it shine. Yeah, it shine. Yeah, it shine. This is Sister Jordan. And this is Sister Aaliyah. And the following are your announcements for the month of April. Take communion with us this Sunday at 9 a.m on the Mount Heber Facebook page. How to prepare before service. Get some juice, bread, or crackers. Be ready at home with your elements and follow along as if you were in the service. Let us know you joined in. Take a picture shared on social media using the hashtag Mount Heber. Share your testimony. Send a two minute video testifying of God working in your life to info at mounthebron.org. Virtual Bible Study Series on Mood Swings, Wednesday nights in April at 6 p.m. on Facebook or dial in. The Historic Mount Hebron Baptist Church Double Good Popcorn Virtual Fundraiser 100% contactless April 23, 2021 to April 27, 2021 raising funds to help our Hebron continue to be a blessing to others. Thank you for your support. The historic Mount Hebron Baptist Church Virtual Spring Revival Tuesday, May 4th, 2021 at 6.30 p.m. This event will be held live on Facebook. Mount Hebron Baptist Church Inc. Our guest preacher, Reverend Stephen Thomas Jr., Pastor Zion Baptist Church of Christ, and our pastor, Reverend Dr. Beryl Whipple. Happy Mother's Day. As we prepare to celebrate Mother's Day, May 9th, 2021, we are asked that you submit a picture with your mother or of your mother with a typed message to include in a church video presentation. Email should be sent to info at mounthebron.org by April 28th. These have been your announcements for the month of April. Thank you for listening and God bless.
Well, thank you, Watkins sisters. Thank you, Watkins sisters, for those announcements. We thank God for your energy, and we thank God for all that you bring to the ministry table, even at a young age. Hallelujah. Uh, in terms of more announcements, people of God, we are thankful that today at 11 a.m., today at 11 a.m. is our Zoom Fellowship Sunday. Our Zoom Fellowship Sunday. Please hear me, hear me well. We encourage all members to log on for our Zoom Fellowship Sunday today at 11 a.m. And they are very, it's very important, very pertinent information coming on the Zoom Fellowship. One more time. We need all of our members to log on, be it actually on Zoom or dial in. The information is right there on your screen uh, the, because there's going to be some pertinent information coming on the Zoom Fellowship at 11 a.m. Also, people of God, we continue our mask fundraiser, our Mount Hebron mask fundraiser. You all know it's $20 a piece or two for 30. Uh, email Sister Steele to place your order at shegracefullyrose at gmail.com, and she will arrange a pickup or even a delivery for you. So we thank God. We thank God for that way we have to support this ministry. Another way we have to support this ministry, people of God, is our popcorn fundraiser. Yes, you've seen the flyer on our website, our text alerts, and our social media. And at this time, we are having our double good popcorn virtual fundraiser. It started on Friday, April 23rd, and it continues to Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. Listen, you can find the link to support this fundraiser on our website, mounthebron.org, on social media, and on text alerts. Listen, the fundraiser, the fundraiser is to raise funds to help Mount Hebron continue to be a blessing to others. So let me help you. Thank you for those who supported the store. Thank you for those who've already um, purchased popcorn already. It's Sunday. Some of y'all made a purchase on Friday. Some of y'all made a purchase on Saturday. Some of y'all making purchases right now during service. It's all right. I thank God. But continue to spread the word. You have until Tuesday uh, to complete uh, this uh, fundraiser. And we need everybody. We need everybody to get behind this. Please Thank you for your support again. Again, the virtual fundraiser is happening right now, right now, through Tuesday, April 27th, 2021. And we thank you. We thank you for your support. Next, people of God, I am excited about our virtual spring revival, our virtual spring revival that's going to happen on Tuesday, May the 4th at 6.30 p.m. on our Facebook page. Now, we thank God for our guest preacher, our revivalist, uh, Pastor Stephen Thomas, Jr. of the Zion Baptist Church of Christ. We're asking all those uh, to sow $10 toward our guest preachers, asking all those to sow $10 toward our guest preachers. We thank you for supporting this ministry. Listen, the pandemic does not stop the church. The pandemic does not stop the church. We've had online worship services on Sunday. We had Bible study on Wednesdays. We've had uh, some panel discussions as well. Uh, so the pandemic is not going to stop the church. We're just being creative in what we're doing. We thank God for that. Next, people of God, I am humbled and grateful to officially announce my sixth pastoral anniversary here at the historic Mount Heathen Baptist Church. I thank God, I thank God for these six years of growth and service. The theme for the sixth pastoral anniversary is stability through uncertainty. Psalm 16 verse 8 says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. So won't you join me in celebrating on Sunday, May uh, the 23rd, 2021 at our 9 a.m., 12 noon, or 6 p.m. online worship services. Again, that's 9 a.m., 12 noon, or 6 p.m. online worship services. Our guest preacher is Reverend Martez Whipple Sr. Uh, he's the pastor of the Mount Nebo Missionary Baptist Church in Miami, Florida. And our guest psalmist is Baltimore's own Sierra Farrar. So we thank God. We thank God for this. Our hashtag, y'all know the hashtag, y'all. Hashtag is Dr. B. Whipple 6. Dr. B. Whipple 6 for six years at Mount Hebron, and we thank God for that. I want to give you a special announcement in reference to this pastor's anniversary. Normally, normally for the pastor's anniversary, we have a pastoral love offering. Normally, for the pastor's anniversary, we have a pastoral love offering. First, let me thank everybody, everybody uh, who gave and celebrated for my 39th birthday. Thank you all so much. 
I thank a lot of folk individually, and now I'm thanking everybody collectively for what you did for my birthday. Now, for this pastoral anniversary, I am petitioning that whatever you are going to give for the pastoral love offering, give it to the online worship team. One more time. Anything that you were going to give for the pastoral love offering for the pastor's anniversary, give it to the online worship team. That's right, people of God. Normally, uh, the pastor receives a love offering for their pastor's anniversary. I want you to give it to the online worship team. I want you to give it to the online worship team. It's right there on the screen. You can give it on Givelify. Give it on Cash App. Mail it in, noting online worship team love offering. Noting online worship team love offering. Listen, in this pandemic, we already blessed the musicians. We blessed the pastor. Now I'm asking you to bless the online worship team. These are those individuals who are behind the scenes, the technicians behind the camera. Uh, Trustee Charles Levi, Sister Jamisha Brown, Deacon Cassandra Kitchen, and Sister Sky Hawkins. I'm asking that you give to them collectively, okay? I'm going to help somebody. Please don't send something individually. Please send something collectively uh, so that we can make sure they will get it individually. And I thank you for your support, and I thank you for your obedience. Again, the pastor is not going to give a love offering for his anniversary, but we're going to give that love offering to the online worship team for their diligence, their faithfulness, and their sacrifice, and I thank you. Finally, people of God, there's been a lot of announcements today, baby. Finally, people of God, we want you to prepare for Holy Communion for next week. Prepare for Holy Communion next week. You see it right there on the screen. You heard it every Sunday from our walk and sisters, and we have gotten through another month, and we thank God for it. It's right there on the screen. Grab you some juice. Grab you some crackers. Grab you some water. Grab you some elements. We're going to bless those earthly elements, asking God to turn them into something divine. Take a picture of those elements. Post it online with the hashtag Mount Hebron. Let us know you're with us with communion, and we thank God that God's spirit is stronger than Wi-Fi. And it will not tear us apart. This pandemic will not tear us apart. Rather, we're going to get closer together, even virtually. So we thank God. We thank God for everything that's happening at Mount Hebron. There's a lot happening in Mount Hebron, and we thank God for it, even on a virtual scale. Now, I want you to prepare now for our, uh, our, our ministry of music. Uh, we thank God for our music ministry. These are some awesome and anointed brothers who continue to bless us at this time. So they're going to give us our, our hymn for the week, followed by our sermonic selection. Then we're going to open the book and receive a message of hope on this, the fourth Sunday of April 2021. You know how we do. Type in them comments. Amen, amen, and amen.
falling in love with Jesus, falling in love with Jesus, falling in love with Jesus was the best thing I've ever, ever done. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in Falling in love with Jesus it was the best thing I've ever, ever done. Said in his arms, I feel protected. Yes, Lord. In his arms, never disconnected. In his arms, I feel protected. And there's no place I'd rather, rather be. Can we sing that together? In his arms, never disconnected. In his arms, I feel protected. And there's no place that I'd rather, rather be. the best thing I've ever, ever done. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Jesus, we lift your name on high. Father God, in the name that's above every other name, in the name that moves mountains, in the name that can kill and cure COVID, in the name that puts our lives back on track, in the name of Jesus, we come to you in prayer, thanking you and bless your name for another opportunity to bless the glorious name of Jesus Christ. We do not take for granted that you, Lord God, want to have a 
consistent relationship with us. So we thank you for loving us in spite of us. We thank you for keeping us when we couldn't keep ourselves. God, we thank you for another opportunity to worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord God, for this virtual worship experience in this sacred space called Mount Hebron. It's my prayer that you will bless somebody today, encourage somebody today, convict somebody today, but bring us all closer to you in this worship experience. This is my prayer. And for this, I do say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. People of God, right where you are, you be in your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, the hallway, I'm asking you to stand for the reading of God's holy word. For you know, if we were in the sanctuary physically, we'd be standing for the word. So we thank God on today that you will turn with me to Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10, for we know there is a word in the house for you on today. A word to encourage your faith. A word that will strengthen your relationship with the Lord. Found in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 4 through 10. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10, beginning at verse 4, concluding at verse 10. The New King James Version reads as follows. Hebrews chapter 10, beginning at verse 4. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. Therefore, when he came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, you had no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come. In the volume of the book, it is written of me to do your will, O God. Previously saying, previously saying, sacrifice and offering, burnt offerings and offerings for your sin, you did not desire, nor had pleasure in them, which we are offered according to the law. Then he said, behold, I have come to do your will, O God. He takes away the first that he may establish the second. Finally, verse 10. By that, we will have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. As you take your seats, beloved, as you take your seats, I want to talk about for a few moments a point of clarification. I want to give you on today a point of clarification. A point of clarification. The epistle, the epistle, the epistle to the Hebrews is a New Testament epistle written to encourage fledgling believers to find their spiritual focus. Hebrews is not written to a specific church. Rather, it is written to those who are new to the faith and are in need of spiritual clarification. They need confirmation that the right decision was made. They needed someone knowledgeable to restore confidence in them that being a part of the Christian faith is not a mistake. It's not a joke, and it's not to be taken lightly. As we dissect this, this text of encouragement, my assignment today, beloved, is to give you a point of clarification to remind you that your decision to follow Jesus is still the best decision you ever made. I know, I know there are people who will want to tell you otherwise. I know it can look shaky at times in this life, but being in Christ is still the best place to be. This is a season to get spiritual clarification. So let me clarify. Beloved, you may very well go through the same problems as everybody else. You may have many, you may have, watch this, many of the same temptations as other folk. But the difference between them and you is that you will no longer go to a bottle. You will no longer go to a needle. You will no longer run to gossip folk. You'll not even run, run to the mall to solve your problems. Rather, you'll go to the stone that the builder rejected. I'm going to the mountain, and the mountain stands by me. So let me clarify. What we do, even in this online worship experience, this virtual sanctuary, 
is only an abbreviation of how we live our everyday lives. Why? Because change is being made. You might put that in the comments. Change is being made. Change is being made. So my prayer during this pandemic is that all of us can hear God without interruption, follow his will, and submit to his way. We're pushing y'all for spiritual clarification. When you have spiritual clarification, that's when, that's when all the fog sin created in your life no longer has a hold of you. The person who used to touch you right doesn't even get your attention anymore. The places you used to go are no longer on your radar because God gave you, watch this, spiritual clarification. Is there anybody here today who can thank God for spiritual clarification? Oh, yeah, spiritual clarification will show you that what you were worried about wasn't even worth thinking about. Spiritual clarification will let you see that God is truly your provider, even in a pandemic. Spiritual clarification reminds you of what you were made for and will cause you to separate yourself for the sake of holiness. I'm so glad to know that spiritual clarification, it will secure you. It will encourage you. It will keep you going when you want to throw in the towel and call it quits. Uh, it always brings me uh, to the one who saved me. It brings me to the one who made me whole. It brings me to the one who made an ultimate sacrifice for me and his name is Jesus. Is there anybody in the house today who can still thank God for Jesus? Uh, more than 2,000 years ago, he loved you in spite of you uh, and he loves you today. Anybody just thankful for Jesus? Uh, clarification happens for us in Hebrews chapter 10, the unknown author of this text displays how the earthly church, the early church, the early church was very, here it is, symbolic. The early church was very traditional. They believed in the symbolism of what an object may represent or even connect to. The early church also heavily believed in many of the rules and regulations of worship. The unknown author of this text also knew also knew very well that the Hebrew people were strangely fond of Levitical dispensation, which was the traditional methods of conducting one's behavior in the faith, in the church, and in public. Because he knew the rules, watch this, he also knew how to respond to the rules. The response, the response of the author is, watch this, directed toward those who were second-guessing their conversion to Christianity. I have a question for you on this beautiful Lord's Day. How can anybody question their conversion to Christianity? Well, it's really easy, y'all. Folk come to church all the time. They have a spiritual moment. Y'all know how we used to do in church before the pandemic. We would fall in love with the singing. We would feel touched by the sermon. The entire service speaks to us on a spiritual level. And at the invitation to Christian discipleship near the end of the service, you are compelled to give your life to Christ. Yeah, give the preacher your hand, but give God your heart. Join the church or even renew your faith. Oh, yeah, you felt it at that moment. You felt heaven on earth in the sanctuary on that particular Sunday doing that one special service. And you thought to yourself, yes, this is the best decision I've ever made. But you must be reminded this is only the beginning, never the culmination of your faith. And the problem is many times when people realize that faith will not culminate with one Sunday service and that there's actual work to be done. Don't you know folk begin to regret their decision? Folk regret it when they are asked the tithe, thinking that the preacher gets all your money. They regret it, watch, watch this, when they are, are, are asked to join a ministry and not just sit there on the pew and spectate. They regret it when they are asked to knock on doors and tell somebody else what's happening at your church. Listen, they regret it when they are asked to actually get up and do something. 
as we are called to do something, beloved. The text teaches us three things about your spiritual clarification. Here it is, y'all. The first thing, the first thing, when you come to your point of spiritual clarification, you know that you are called to be an offering, called to be the offering, called to be the offering. Put that in the comments, y'all. I am the offering. I am the offering. In verses, verse number six of Hebrews chapter 10, it says, in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, you had no pleasure. The author here quotes Psalm 40 as a reference point of Christ's promise to be the offering of sacrifice since the Old Testament. Here, Jesus knows being the offering will not be a pleasurable experience, but he is still called to do it. And in being the offering, all that Jesus did was point to God and not himself. People of God, please be reminded that, 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 that what you must offer must point to God and God alone. As you are the offering, but you're never the star. Every time we sing his praises, every time the preach word goes forth, every time we testify, here it is, it should point to God and God alone. If it ever becomes about you, that's the very moment that you need to sit down somewhere. That's the moment where you must reevaluate your intentions. Remember here what the old school spiritual said. It said, if I can just help somebody along the way, then my living uh, shall not be in vain. I will be the offering and point to God. The first thing, the first thing we must be is the offering. We must be the offering. The second thing we must do is be the establisher. Be the establisher. Here it is. The Bible in verse 9 says, he takes away the first that he may establish the second. Being the establisher. Here it is. We know Jesus. Jesus came to be the ultimate sacrifice and take away the punishment for the penalty of our sin. Jesus was also familiar with the church history of the day. He understood the meaning behind animal sacrifice. Let me take it to Sunday school, y'all. Animal sacrifice, animal sacrifice. That's when those of the faith would take an animal to the temple and sacrifice that animal for the atonement of their sin. They shed the blood of animals as a religious sacrifice to our God. Oh, but when Jesus showed up, he became the sacrifice for everybody. I need you to understand how important that is. You don't have to kill another animal. You don't have to spill any more blood. You don't have to present a dove, a bull, or a goat because Jesus uh, sacrificed himself for everybody. Uh, he established a new covenant between God and humanity after we messed it up more than 2,000 years ago. And, and, and the same way he established it for us, people of God, we must learn to be an establishers in the faith. What you mean, Pastor? Let me help you. Uh, we live in a society uh, that wants you to believe you can do what you want, uh, how you want, uh, and when you want, uh, daring anybody to say something about it. Uh, but if you are in Christ, uh, if you are serious about the faith, uh, then you already made the decision uh, that this life is not my own, uh, but it belongs to God uh, through Jesus Christ. Uh, and what that means, beloved, uh, is that I'm going to become an establisher for God. God, uh, we must break all barriers uh, and establish what is good around us. Oh yeah, establish something good in your life. Uh, establish uh, a legacy of education. Establish uh, a positive way of thinking. Establish uh, a consistent pattern of living healthy. Establish uh, a life worth living. Uh, I will not fall victim to my past uh, or my family's mistakes, uh, but I'm setting a new standard. Uh -huh. I'm establishing a new pattern in my life, uh, one that will be better than before. Uh, just because mama was on drugs, just because uncles were dropouts, just because friends uh, went to prison, just because you grew up around people uh, who had no dreams, just because the school system failed you and passed you anyway. Guess what? That does not mean you have to live under that failure. Uh, I will establish something new for me. Uh, do me a favor, type in them comments. I gotta do this for me. I gotta do this for me. I gotta do this for me. So I will be the offering. I will be the establisher. And I do all this, people of God, so I will be sanctified. Last point, last point, be sanctified. Be sanctified. Type in them comments, y'all. Be sanctified. Be sanctified. 
verse number 10, proclaims, by that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. You remember what being sanctified means? Sanctified means set apart. We have been separated from our sins. And as a bonus, we are set apart from the world uh, by God because here it is of the once for all sacrifice of Jesus. Here's the breakdown, y'all. In no way are you perfect. Church folk love to say they're not perfect. But as you move forward, as you move forward toward perfection in God, it will move you away from that sin that tried to trap you. Preach, Pastor. I'm just letting you know when you move toward God, uh, you're moving away from the sin uh, that tried to trap you. Uh, I need saved folk uh, to act like saved folk. Uh, too many times saved folk uh, still rely on their bad habits, uh, still turn to negative people uh, as if God has never been been there for you in the past. Uh, but this is why we thank God for salvation. Uh, yes, it gives you a spot in eternity. Uh, but while you're here on earth, uh, there's still some work to be done. Uh, who am I preaching to who can declare I still got work to do? I still got work to do. Uh, and that's when sanctification comes in. Uh, sanctification uh, moves you toward a life of holiness. Uh, and let me make it real clear today. Uh, you are not called uh, to get your life together uh, when you feel like it uh, but you are called uh, to get your life right uh, when Jesus became the sacrifice for you uh, stop giving yourself excuses uh, and get up right where you are uh, Jesus took away every excuse uh, we would have and offered us the greatest gift uh, through the biggest sacrifice uh, and that's why I'm moving uh, toward God through Jesus uh, and I'm moving away from every sin. I, I'm moving away from every excuse uh, and I'm moving away from every habit. Uh, my prayer today is God uh, I want to be sanctified. Uh, I'm not going to compare my Christian walk with anybody else uh, but God I want to be sanctified. Uh, you know what you brought me from uh, and you know where I am uh, and you know where you're taking me to. God I want to be sanctified. Uh, teach me uh, to hear your voice uh, and block out what's not like you. God uh, I want to be sanctified. Huh? Move me toward holiness. Huh? Nope, I ain't better than anybody else, huh? but I want a stronger relationship with you. Huh? Teach me. Huh? I don't have to respond to everything. Huh? Let me know living toward you huh? fully is better than being halfway in the world. Huh? God, I want to be sanctified. Huh? Is there anybody here huh, on a Sunday morning huh, who can declare I want to be sanctified? Huh? I tried it the world's way, huh? and the world's way messed me up. Uh, the world's way traumatized me. Uh, the world's way messed up my family. Uh, but now I want to try it God's way. Uh, and I got to be sanctified. Uh, I dare you, beloved, uh, to move toward being sanctified. Uh, allow Jesus to work on your behalf uh, and move you toward perfection. Uh, is there anybody here uh, who wants Jesus to take over in your life? Uh, see, when Jesus takes over, uh, he's becoming the completion uh, to what was incomplete in my life. Uh, when Jesus takes over, uh, he is the fulfillment of my emptiness. Uh, when Jesus takes over, uh, I'm so glad to know uh, that he sacrificed for me uh, and he took over in my life. Uh, that's why I'm grateful uh, for Jesus. Uh, I'm thankful for his blood uh, that was shed for me. Uh, see, when I was not good enough, uh, he made me better than. Uh, oh, preach, Pastor Whipple. Uh, when I was not good enough, uh, he made me better than. Uh, Franny Crosby told me, uh, near the cross, uh, a trembling soul, uh, love and mercy uh, found me. Uh, there the bright uh, and morning star uh, shed its beams uh, around me. Uh, so Jesus, uh, keep me uh, near the cross. Uh, there's a precious fountain it's freedom it's a healing stream that flows
those uh, from Calvary's mountain. Uh, it gave me clarification. Uh, it cleared some things up for me. Uh, it cleared up all the doubt. Uh, it cleared up all the fear. Uh, it cleared up all the anxiety. Uh, it cleared up all the apprehensions. Uh, it cleared up all the low self-esteem. Uh, Jesus uh, cleared it up for me. Uh, Jesus uh, cleared it up for me. Uh, the devil uh, thought it had me, uh, but Jesus uh, came and grabbed me. Uh, he grabbed my mind uh, to think his thoughts. Uh, he grabbed my ears uh, so I can hear his voice uh, loud and clear. Uh, he grabbed my eyes uh, so I can see his vision uh, come to fruition uh, for my life. Uh, he grabbed my mouth uh, so I can speak what thus saith the Lord uh, to build up uh, and not tear down uh, as a constructing love. Uh, I'm so glad uh, he took my extremities uh, and folk can know for themselves uh, when they come into my presence. Uh, they come into the presence uh, of the Lord. Uh, Grandmama said uh, he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tear it there none other none other none other shall ever know is there anybody here who can thank God that Jesus brought clarity you can thank God that Jesus brought clarity he cleared my Life, uh, so I can serve him. Uh, he can clean everything else. Uh, so he is the focus. Uh, cloudy days are gone uh, because he cleared it up. Uh, he cleared it up. Uh, he cleared it up for me. Uh, aren't you glad about it? Uh, aren't you glad about it uh, that he cleared it up for me? Uh, so I'm leaving here today uh, with a renewed mind. Uh, I'm leaving here today uh, with an encouraged spirit. Uh, I'm leaving here today. Uh, knowing if God be for me, uh, who dared to be against me? Uh, somebody shout yeah. Somebody shout yeah. Somebody shout yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. He cleared some things up for me. Well, other folk got missing. But things got cloudy in my life. I'm so glad Jesus made the sacrifice. And when he made the sacrifice, he cleared up all the mess. He cleared up all the fog in my life. He cleared up some things for me. And I'll come to say thank you. Y'all might as well type in the comments and say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so people of God, we dare not, we dare not, we dare not. We dare not leave this worship experience. We dare not leave this worship experience. Without offering you the ABCs of salvation. Yes, people of God, salvation is as easy as A, B, C. A, admit that you are a sinner in need of forgiveness. B, believe that Jesus Christ died, buried, and rose from the dead for your sins. C, confess that Jesus Christ is both Lord and Savior over your life. I'm going to pray. And as I pray this prayer... If it resonates in your spirit, I encourage you to reach out to our deacons at Deacon Ministry at MountHebron.org, and it will culminate this moment with you. Right where you are, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come thanking you and blessing your name for bringing clarity to our lives. Thank you, Lord God, for what things were cloudy, you brought clarity. Now, God, we thank you today for salvation. It's as simple as A, B, C. A. Admit that you are a sinner in need of forgiveness. B. Believe that Jesus Christ died, buried, and rose from the dead for your sins. C. Confess that Jesus Christ is both Lord and Savior over your life. God, we thank you. And we bless your name for meeting us right where we are and pushing us to where we need to be. This is our prayer. And for this we do say thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen, amen, and amen. Finally, people of God, before we get out of here on the day, we want to give the invitation for you to join the church. 
It's a one, two, three process. Really, it's simple, y'all. Doing the online worship experience, putting those comments. I want to join Mount Hebron. I want to join. I want to join Mount Hebron. Two, send an email to Deacon Ministry at MountHebron.org. Three, the deacons will reach out to you. One more time. Doing online worship, putting them comments. I want to join Mount Hebron. I want to join Mount Hebron. Two, send an email to Deacon Ministry at MountHebron.org. Three, the deacons will reach out back to you. People of God, I would be honored to be your pastor, not only in the pandemic, but also beyond. So for those who've been watching us and worshiping with us these last months, few months, get connected. Get connected so God can bring clarification to your life. We pray, we pray that you've been blessed by this worship experience. And we pray that you will continue to worship with us as we grow in God together. Before we get out of here, people of God, we want to give you the benediction. Right where you are, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. God, we thank you and we bless your name for this day and this time. We thank you for the sacred space called Mount Hebron. You continue to bring clarification in cloudy moments. Now, God, as this week progresses, thank you for every open door. Thank you for moments of peace. And thank you for a point of clarification. And now, as Moses spoke to Aaron, who with the people of Israel, we declare the blessing and say these words, may the Lord bless you and may he keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. And this week, may he give you, 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 and you too. May he give you peace. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you.